What's up, alien savages, and welcome to another episode. Look at this, if you're watching visually. I have new airports, and they say Weihnachten, which means Christmas. Isn't that nice? And when I connect them to my phone, the first time, the box is opening, you know, visually, and it also says Weihnachten, Christmas, on it. So cool. Thank you, Apple. So yeah, Apple Thailand delivery to Koh Phangan works like a charm. You know, I think someone is following me, tracking me, and I'm not paranoid at all. Like I'm really the most chill guy, the most trusting guy. Fear is not real. Fear is just an illusion. Fear is so unnecessary. And I'm not in the fear. It's just my intuition is really on point and Recently, I, I have a lot of intuitive feelings that someone is like tracking me, you know? <laughs> I know it sounds so paranoid. But like one thing that keeps popping up is I open my phone and every time I'm on my scooter, it's like this a Apple tag wants to connect. So it feels like there's an Apple tag somewhere in my scooter because it always wants to... So, so whoever is tracking me is doing a poor job because this is so easy to spot. But you know, then I don't even care, <laughs> you know, like I could go through my scooter now and like, or, or be paranoid or go to the mechanic, but I just don't care. If someone wants to put a tag in my scooter, then like feel free. If someone wants to hack into my MacBook webcam, of the front sc screen and watching me masturbate to porn, <laughs> seeing my face in there, then feel free. <laughs> you can also sub to my OnlyFans, you know? Uh, I really don't have anything to hide and I'm, don't and I'm not doing anything illegal right now. So I'm like, whatever that is. But yeah, this is what I, n what many powerful beings talk about. Like, Rion from United Collective, he's saying he knows too much. So the government is like keeping a close eye on him. And I don't know, you know, I'm not paranoid. And I always laugh about all these rap songs that are so paranoid. You know, Chef Cat is really into that. That he feels so followed and everything. And I'm like, I don't, I, I really don't care because I have nothing to hide. This is feeling so good, you know. And I operate in universal law like I'm a good human. And I also operate in these weird laws we humans have created. You know, some of them I really love. Like, I love our system in so many ways. I love that it's, uh, you know, we, we still carry so much darkness. So I love that it's not okay if you, if you punch someone, if you murder someone, you go to jail. I love that. And then there are also so many weird laws. Like, you know, like, don't let me get started. But, you know, I... I have my work permit, I pay my taxes, I, I make money legally, like all these things, I, I operate 100% as a good boy. So there's nothing I need to worry about. Um, so yeah, I just, I just uh, think it's funny to talk about. Because why do I talk about? Because I really talk about in my podcast these days, whatever comes in my head. This new format I started is really my one hour of inner walk. You know, my meditation where I just walk back and forth for an hour or just sitting down and meditating. And not this meditating where I have an intention that I want to focus on my breath or whatever. No, I just want to walk. I just want to sit. And whatever comes, comes. And this is my favorite form of meditation because whatever you actually think about whatever comes to you is the most important thing it needs to be processed otherwise it doesn't go away and w once it's processed it feels a million times better because there is something for you otherwise it wouldn't keep knocking but do you actually take the time undistractedly to look at it because often we're in our life and something comes up and i'm cutting my watermelon and then i'm like about to crack it and then my phone goes off and this happened and shiny objects all around so do we actually take every day 
some conscious time to 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 meditate but then allow everything that comes and and think everything through like whatever you know this is what i really recommend every day and this is now also my podcast it's like i'm still having my meditation practice every day in different forms and also my podcast now is uh, these days i'm not talking about something specific or already think about what i want to talk about but just really allow you inside my heart inside my head as i speak and this for me is the most exciting because i'm i'm doing my meditation right now and i'm sharing it you know <laughs> <coughs> mm, that's like a deep breath <sighs> yeah, I really loved the last podcast, how well Faye uh, is received by you and that you're all excited to see more of her, even though it was so short and I talked most of the time, <laughs> um, her vibration came through and you all approve and you love her and this makes me really happy and of course... I'm like, of course, you know, she's amazing. And I'm so excited to to share more of her. I got talked yesterday to Vicky a lot about her. And Vicky was like, yeah, she has some major gifts that need to be shared. And I'm just like, just wait for it. I'm going to bring you the best woman. I'm the collector. I'm finding all these powerful women. I'm onboarding them with social media. Then they get comfortable in sharing. And then I'm on to the next one. Ho, ho, ho. Just kidding, kidding. Everyone calm down. This is also fun, you know. We make it fun. We make it easy. We make it light. <sighs> We're having a good time. I love how Bashar also said in his latest transmission that following your highest excitement is an active meditation. Because, you know, this, this classical sit-down meditation, if you don't want to do it, please don't do it. Like, please study the formula of following your highest excitement. This is the way. This is remembering who you are, embodying your true natural self. And if you follow your highest excitement moment to moment, like actually embody the whole formula... And I, I, I recommend study the whole formula. Then, da -da 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 you're, it's an active meditation 24-7. It's not like, oh, now I meditate and now I'm falling asleep again and, and being unconscious. No, we're, we're wide awake. Everything we're doing, we're walking meditation. So everything is a meditation actually. As long as it's like who you are, you know, like staying awake, following your like following your joy wakes you up. This is the quickest way, and this is the nicest way. This is because it's actually who you are. We all desperately want to be ourselves. Then we're the happiest. Then we're full of love and loving ourselves because we we love us. We chose us. This is who we are. We've just forgotten, and society puts us in weird states that are not us and we're trying to be someone else and it's so weird it's the weirdest shit ever people trying to figure out who they are and going like mainstream direction and like hmm what do i want to study uh, nothing but i guess uh, i'm becoming a, a lawyer and don't get me wrong in the system there's so many people the highest excitement is be a lawyer be a judge be a nurse be a surgeon all these things and then many people that are not and that are just like going from one thing to another and it's so weird you know and i've i've done it too it's so weird i was always like wh what am i doing here what am i doing here mm -hmm. okay should we go into something deep this is the one and only thing i have on my list let's take a deep sip But first, how are you feeling? How are you feeling in your body? Mm, everything is welcome. <clears throat> this is a safe space. 
How do I feel? Mm. Yeah, I feel better. You know, I hurt my neck and it's it's getting better. Like I can now move better and energetically I feel better. I might even go to the gym today, which I'm really excited because I haven't been able to train for the last two weeks and this is uh, making me a little crazy. Mm. So yeah, I feel I feel pretty good. And also the wiki session yesterday really helped me because you know with Faye I'm in this deep ceremony and her and I it's so trippy what's going on it's I can feel the texture the fabric this is how Faye always says it I loved it like once you can sense something but not quite it's like I can feel the texture of what her and I are becoming And then synchronistically, I watched this video yesterday about Jesus from Bashar, where he was like, Jesus and Magdalene about the, you know, the fully integrated, embodied, divine masculine and feminine in one person and then coming together as a couple. And I can so feel this vibration in Faye and me. And I am clearly not there yet because it's scaring me. I want to push certain things away. I want to hold on to certain things that don't serve me anymore because um it's it's so different of who i am now i mean not so different but it is different that i have to let go of this version i am now that still holds on to qualities that are so boyish And um, I kind of, I kind of want. I I see the man I'm becoming, and I I kind of want someone else to do that first, so I can be his little brother. Learn from him. And and see, observe him, and be his friend, and 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 be inspired, but not be that yet, and still be the little brother. And fuck around more. I, uh, I want to fuck around more, you know, <laughs> but then do I? And this is uh, where it's like more and more like, no. But yeah, I'm really lacking examples. This is what also Vicky said that we're just lacking really healthy examples. Because so often I, I try to find someone that I can be super inspired but I'm really lacking examples. And this is what we're all becoming. We're all becoming Christ consciousness. Like we're all becoming Jesus and Magdalene, embodying that vibration. And it's it's us who go ahead that we are actually healthy examples for others. We're leading the way. But I don't see anyone that like walked uh, w- uh, walked further a lot, so we can all look up to, you know. So it's it's like always. This is always my life theme. It's like fuck. No one is doing it, so I have to do it because this is what's missing, and this is what needs to be done. So I'm going to do it. Like all the things I also hosted. I hosted them because I didn't see this vibration out there. So I created it. Like I was like checking out all these retreats. And for me, they were all shit. They they all served their purpose, but they weren't all shit. Like they were all amazing, but they weren't what I was looking for. Where can I actually get it? (laughs) Then I created the flow state retreats. And like the community I've attracted and like mm, always the content I've created was always no one was doing it. And once other people caught up doing it, I stopped and I I moved on to the next thing. Like it's so cliche, but it's so true, you know, be the change you wish to see. And, And with Faye, it's moving so fast that I feel like she's already 
five levels ahead of me and I'm catching up hardcore right now but it's going a little fast so that's why Vicky yesterday said every 72 hours we need a full rest day so after three days of her and me being connected we need an entire day of not being connected and not also on whatsapp like no voice messages so today Faye and I we have a rest day because <clears throat> I, I cannot hold her yet I get too uncrowned it's not fun then and this is also what's uh, challenging because oh wow I found someone that I love so much and I potentially want to spend my, my life with her or I do right now like I do want to spend my life with her right now and then I cannot have it right now you know because I'm, I'm getting too ungrounded and I, I need to process in my own energy. Like I finally find someone like me and now I see the Ferdi effect, how it is when someone else has that. It sucks, kind of. I mean, I said it like laughing, it's the best ever. And also, you know, you want to be around that person all the time, but you literally can't. So it's a funny thing. Mm, what else did I talk to Vicky about? Yeah, that also... <coughs> because with Vicky, I'm so myself. And also in these podcasts, I'm 100% myself. And with other people, I quickly reflect them, where I'm still 100% myself, but I, I meet them where they're at. And this is, this is great. This is a really important skill. And also, once you really meet your loved ones you you want to stay exactly who you are and not jump on their vibe but that you can you can both stay 100% yourself and the other day where Vicky her daughter Faye and I went like on on the Sunday family adventure and we got Snickers milkshakes Vicky was really observing Faye and, and me, like how we are together and, and my energy and, and how I change around her. And she was like, Faye, you're going, <laughs> you're going too much dolphin mode. <laughs> but I'm like, I love it. Finally, someone I can be really dolphin and they can handle my intensity. And But then she was like, but is this really uh, you, you? I'm like, yes and no. Yes, this is me playing and stuff. And also, just me, 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 me is a little more chill and more like receiving. She was like, Fatty, you really need to work on receiving better. You're like such a giver and it's your superpower and it's all good stuff. But um, this is then also eventually you need a break to recharge because giving always quickly trains you even if it's a really beautiful way you know um so I'm, I'm just i'm just observing that all more because it is so true that i'm i'm, I'm such a giver and with Faye it's so new because i don't need to give i can actually receive so much and i'm still so conditioned from my last relationship from my family from my entire life basically to not really experience this unconditional love and always like what could go wrong and and I need to give and all this blah and and, and it's it's so healing with Faye and, and yes I need to heal like I, I need to let this conditioning go and I feel like I, I already do like once I say it it's gone you know I am in this moment and also it's this expecting something to go wrong you know I am like the other night when we went to Seeds of Dreams for this concert I really don't need to think about Faye. I, I really don't need to care about her. Like, my neck was hurting, so I was even laying on her lap. And I'm like, is this okay? Is this not too much? And this is what I need to let go of. Because in the past, like in my last relationship, constantly I was just being and someone freaked out, you know? And I was like, oh my God, what did I do wrong? And I didn't do anything wrong. It was just like not healthy, this my last relationship. 
there were like so many situations where I'm healing from because I was like, oh my God, this was so, like, Brittany and I, we just went to a, a coffee shop and I was just like in my own energy and uh, assuming she's fine, you know, and then she freaked out because apparently she wanted that couch and and why don't I just intuit it and, and speak up for her and now, she, and then it was like a huge fight and I felt, and I was like, what did I do wrong? And, I, and, and this is what I'm healing now, realizing there were so many situations where I put myself down thinking I've done something so wrong and realizing I've done nothing wrong. And now this expecting, this being still in alert mode at every moment, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, what did I do wrong? Okay, let me get you this. Let me give you that. Okay, yeah. And with Faye, there's nothing, nothing of that. She's just fine. And I can just be myself. And again, I am. And also I'm in this alert mode where like any moment, <gasps> like I, I talk for a long time. Like the other day, she let me share so much. I was going on forever about German rap forever and i was showing her all these german artists and she doesn't even understand german i was and translating the lyrics and i got so excited ah! and then i got to the point i'm like oh shit i shared way too much now she's gonna freak out because again in my past relationship sometimes i i shared for like 10 minutes straight and then my ex-partner she freaked out i was like oh shit i and 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 Faye, she's like, yeah, you really still condition this checking in a little too much of how are you feeling? Are you alright? And she's like, if something is up, I tell you. You you don't need to worry about me. You can just relax and be yourself. Like Faye is so healing for me, and also this is where I get uncrowned because it's so much for my body to catch up. It's it's nonstop. It's um. And her and I, we really like d -d 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 go in spirit, and it's just it's so, it's it's so new that this new vibration I need to acclimatize. So we need rest days. So also, if you find someone new and it's really activating, make sure you take rest days every third day, every fourth day. Spend a day completely separately where you don't lose yourself and can all let that sink in. Like how I'm doing right now, I'm processing the wiki session together with you in my own energy because also Vicky saying things where sometimes they don't resonate a hundred percent for whatever reason you know it's just like everything is an offer and I can then have to evaluate for myself okay I need to poop again so I'm doing a quick cut and I'm back and I sneaked an outfit change and now I want to transition because we just talked about that synchronistically about what I wanted to talk about, my mother wound that Faye really reflected to me so well. Mm. And this is exactly what I just talked about, which is letting go of this con condition that people love me conditional, but get, uh, uh, like letting unconditional love in. Because my mother, she... It uh, doesn't love me unconditionally. Like she, it's just what it is. You know, I love my mom and, and I'm not saying she did something wrong and this is bad or whatever. I'm not judging it. I love her so much. And it is true that she doesn't love me unconditionally. What does that mean? She doesn't love me as I am. She loves me conditionally that change this, change that. Don't be yourself. And I know how, how challenging it is to love me as your son if you're in the system and have someone like me as your son. It's like, for my mom, it's so, I, I have so much compassion for her because I'm so weird, you know, for mainstream people, for people in the system who, who are not awake, who are still having all that programming. I'm a, I'm a horrible person doing sex parties, having a OnlyFans, just sharing my life online without a filter and talking about aliens and stuff like this is, um, this is really bad. It's a big problem. <clears throat> I, I get that. But this is just me, you know. This is just who I am. This is authentically who I am. And I, all I want from my mom, what I, what I would love is that she loves me for who I am. I don't, I don't need money. I don't, I don't need... I'm actually so good. I would love actually to take care of her. I would love to invite her here to Kupangan and show her the island and my life and my friends and afro all this ride motorcycles with her but yeah 
she doesn't love me unconditionally and this is how I'm conditioned. That if I if I go home, for example, I need to censor myself, I cannot do social media, I have to change and or uh, that's why I don't go home basically, you know. <clears throat> because uh, I, I refuse to do that. I, I can only be myself at this point. Everything else is self-harm. And also my, my past relationship I, I was also really attractive to me because it reminded me of the love my mom taught me. Because they were still... You know, it, it just wasn't healthy. And and now that I am in a relationship that that really Faye loves me for who I am and I don't need to change in any regard. Like with Britney was already so great in a like I'm, I'm, I'm I just want to emphasize that I'm so grateful for Britney. Like this was exactly what her and I needed. Like we 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 grew so much from this relationship in this one and a half years I grew how other people grow in like 10 years. <coughs> Because her and I, it was so intense. It was like we saw each other 24-7 and everything came up and we taught each other so much, you know. We, we really have to experience what we're not. We have to go in the darkness. We have to abuse ourselves to, to, to go, go down that, that hallway of being a fully integrated human of the darkness and, and everything. Like, I'm so grateful for her. And also that she took on so much karma for this relationship because like yeah she did a lot of things and they're not balanced yet and i forgive her and this is uh, called karma that she she carries you know and and only because she did that for whatever me the greater good i could experience that someone needed to take that on so i could get here and i'm 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 forever grateful for her like this this is um yeah I, I think what i just said don't actually make sense to so many people and many like get it wrong or don't get it and that i put myself like um whatever you know fuck the disclaimers the people who got it they got it like i'm so grateful that she took on so much karma so i could grow that much so grateful so much love that, that, that like in spirit you know i see it all from upstairs all this downstairs shit is whatever to me in spirit she is my ally and it's like Ferdi, I'm gonna take this on so you could grow that much. I'm I'm like she's having my back actually huge times. It's like wow. Sa same for my brother uh, Julian Zitlo. Like he took on some some karma for me so I could grow that much. So yeah, if you don't understand that, that's fine. This is like high level stuff. And I'm not gonna elaborate. Um, or do I? Because it's actually so simple, you know. If someone does something to you, you know, energy is always balanced. When? In the now. It's always balanced now. It's ev everything is happening in the now. But we experience physical reality. So we have like this time delay of space and time. And we can ac create the illusion of accumulating stuff that eventually gets balanced. So people in physical reality track, accumulate karma because it isn't balanced yet. You know, if you, if you punch someone and you don't apologize, you just accumulated something. The energy isn't balanced until you like energetically make up for it in whatever way, like clean the energy, like apologize in whatever way the other person receives that it's authentic. And un until you haven't done that, the, the, the energy isn't balanced. This person is carrying trauma, uh, like a karma, karma, sorry. And then it allows the other person, like me, for example, to, to pick the higher route, to love a person unconditionally, to see why that person did it and to not hold crutches. And this is high level stuff. Most people, they, they are not able to do that. They're like, oh, fuck this person. How dare they? This person is de dead to me. Uh, or, or revenge. I'm going to get back to this person. All that shit. All that shit. And I, I don't choose it. <coughs> I, I choose the higher route and I forgive and I laugh and I come back into gratitude like I'm actually so grateful for Brittany for Julian for so many people because 
I see the I, I cannot not see the bigger picture anymore. And there is like uh, <laughs> coming back to I'm a narcissist, so I have the ultimate self growth. <laughs> if you want to see it from a funny point of view, but if you constantly are connected to the higher picture, the bigger picture, you you cannot be a narcissist because uh, you you're really stepping in your in your wiseness of you're doing what is best for the higher good. It's not about you anymore. It's about what's what's needed in the timeline. Why are you here? Being of service. You know, we, uh, I'm here on a mission. <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So coming back to the mother wound. So with my mother and then the love with Brittany is so attractive, was so, at, at felt, because this is how I got love taught. And then with Faye, I'm breaking the cycle. I'm breaking so many cycles. Like I'm also, Faye is under probation, like Vicky, was like she needs to be in probation for three months that right now I'm not paying for her and this is so healthy for me to break all these cycles because for all my women I paid everything everything because like yeah why not I have money and but then it's like you know if for example I would pay now everything for for Faye and get her whatever she wants a piano and all the things and then in a month we would break up I would be like, mm, maybe it was because I paid for everything. Maybe that's why she was with me. And of the following I have and, and whatever, you know. And because it's all of this is off the table, it's just pure unconditional love. I really heal. And I, I would say I'm already healed because how did I attract Faye? You only attract what you embody. And this is the unconditional love I radiate. And I am ready to receive, so I attracted her into my reality. And likewise for her. And now this healing is just letting go of this condition, what I said earlier, that I'm still like ex expecting something to go wrong. So it's just like really sinking in this like, okay, this is how it is now. This is now my standard. People who love me unconditionally. People who actually love me for who I am. Not what I have to offer or what I can do for them, all this, not, not, none of that. This is all extra, but they really love me for who I am. And yeah, all this being said, I'm also so excited to, to heal my, my mother's relationship. Like Vicky is really quote unquote pushing me in a nice way and, and Faye as well. Like all these powerful women are saying the same, you gotta heal your mother relationship. It's like how you have your relationship to your mother is how you have your relationship to other women, they say. And then I would love to do that. Like, and I'm hoping my mom is watching this podcast. And mom, all I need is a step towards me. Because I already tried. I want to heal. I'm here. I'm loving her. But uh, mom, I cannot change in a sense of not being myself. Like this, I cannot. I cannot like be someone I'm not. This is, this is my only like requirement to like love me for who i am and you know you don't need to approve it you don't need to like it you know don't need to celebrate it it's just you just need to like accept that this is your son and i i, I don't want to convince you of like look the, here is all your fear-based beliefs let me transform it and in fronting your life or anything I, I just want to be like loved for who I am and I love you for who you are and and we're family and we're coming together in whatever way we can and, and showing up as family, you know, like there's actually so much behind it. You in spirit choose your blood family for a specific pur purpose. And I already like really saw in my soul contract why I picked my family and what is there to come and it's gonna be healed. Like I know that. I just trust in the timing. And the timing right now is like I need a step towards me because I already put myself so out there in, in my raw essence. And it just needs to be in harmony enough for my family because I cannot do anymore. Otherwise it's pushing. Otherwise it's, you know... So I'm just like trusting the timeline. 
And I still think my sister is the is the key back into my family. Someone channeled that to me and that really really resonated. Because my sister and I we we never accumulated any bad vibes. We never spent much time together, and I think exactly for that our higher selves brought us away from each other because <laughs> otherwise we would just still like oh this and this and this but nothing really happened whereas my my brother and my mother a lot like happened where we're just like this and this and this is not balanced we need to heal that yeah and i feel like i, I i've done my job like i i'm like this is me and is there like I'm so grateful and I've I've not like accumulated any karma like I've not done any shit and I'm so open to forgive them for like yeah yeah I don't want to get into it like for example my brother it's really dark like it's really manipulative and the energy sees like send me and try to tell me like how like actually trying to manipulate me that I'm crazy and like it's really dark shit it's really really dark shit and I'm so open to forgive him and i already forgave him you know i already forgave him i'm just like ready for that in the 3d to catch up and to like heal it but yeah enough about that i know this is making my family super uncomfortable that i speak about that like i i can feel it as i speak like i know they're watching it makes them so uncomfortable because i i, I kind of force them to heal i'm opening this bottle of all our family unprocessed emotion and i'm the first one opening it and now it's open now they cannot stop it it's a it's an ongoing process now and it, they hate it but also their soul shows it like they have birthed me in this reality i i carry that gift and i'm here to 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 trigger that i'm sorry yeah i know it's uncomfortable but on the other side is waiting a fully integrated happy family for us where we can all sit on the same table and celebrate christmas together but yeah I know it's probably years I took massive chill pills and uh, it starts by me just like talking vulnerably about what's going on. So this is me. Yeah, I feel like it's really vulnerable, all of this. Because I, 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 I just like, I, I don't want to get attacked again. I, it's I've been attacked so much and then like from my family, family, it hurts so much when I like get attacked, you know. It's like, oh, like please just like either just leave me alone or... Or, like, show some love. Like, this is all love. I'm just sharing vulnerably. I, I wish everyone would do that, you know? Just, like, share your perspective. Don't tell me anything is wrong with me. Nothing is wrong with me. And, yeah, I'm also so happy once they're, like, open that I can guide them, you know? It's like, you realize... Your, 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 your parents are actually energetically your, your children and, and we're here to like guide them once they like open for it or whoever parents chose that not everyone is coming where we're going and that's okay you know mm, but just my family is coming up a lot recently so I have a strong feeling they're coming with me the way I'm going and I'm not making that up like I'm I, I really I'm not a, I'm not attached to them it's really I'm like whatever like I see our connection spirit and this is the only thing that's like actually real so but we're playing down here for a movie is like I'm not attached to it either but it's just like it, it's really coming up I'm, I'm finding myself these days so in the observer role I'm just observing what's happening and there's no judgment or it's it's just like whatever's meant to be is meant to be and whatever is the greater good, you know, whatever we chose, it's 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 working out best case scenario. So there is no really like preference because my physical preference is just blah blah. It's like it's not what I what I what I want. It's what I need, and w what I need is like the biggest fulfillment ever. And and I couldn't see my reality turning out this way that it did in like anywhere. Like, speaking about the details, like, I, I already intuited, like, many years ago, like, 2016, I'm gonna go to Thailand, like, I made a whole video about it, but I never really released it, I still have it on private, like, I really intuited most of the big things where I am right now, but these minor details, 
like that it's specifically Faye, that it's specifically Britney, that it's specifically this house, that it's specifically sharing the way I share right now, what I speak about, how I speak about, I, I didn't see at all. I re I, like, because the physical mind already wants to jump to, I have all the money, all the fame, everyone loves me, I'm sitting on the throne, and, and then what? And this is actually the, the boring, the most boring shit ever. <laughs> like, you know, Game of Thrones ends, like, how long did Daenerys actually sit on the Iron Throne? Not even a second, because it would be too boring. She got stabbed before, you know? So it's like all this commotion, that is actually the most exciting thing of the ups and the downs and life and the, 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 the journey, the growth. And this is so often not what we want, but we get what we need. So that's why I, I'm, I'm embracing all these small things and, and making like this is what makes life meaningful. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I feel really complete. I feel really, you know, I can already feel this uh, emotional hangover, this vulnerability hangover. Uh, like, is this too vulnerable? Is this too raw? Can I really just talk like that? Like, it, especially about my family now, I'm like, yeah. But I'm like, yeah. Because um, often the most vulnerable, the most, the, the more I feel like this, the better it actually is, you know. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ich bin erstmal. 